This is Don Stewart, the artist at artistchronicle.com. Bryce Brown is a New York art critic, artist, and he was the juror for the Carolina's Got Art show in Charlotte. He was gracious enough to comment on the two paintings of mine that he selected for that show. myself trying to figure out, mm -hmm. well, okay, paint what I see and what's there in front of me, but how do I decide what to put in front of me? Any, any suggestions or ideas? Well, I mean, I think that's, um, that's where your, your idea comes from. It's how you curate what you, what you look at. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you did it, whether or not you were conscious of it. The fact that you plopped an egg in the middle of these oranges, you know, that's, that's a, one of those weird, quirky decisions that caught my eye, which is why the piece is at a show. It's like, oh. That's weird and wonderful and, and surprising, and you know okay. I, I want to see that in person. So those, are, you know, that's you know you're you're doing it, obviously. Very cool. And I think in a lot of ways, artists are not conscious of the fact that they're doing things, which um, which is fine, which is good. You know, right. Artists should just make the work and not really think about it too much. Absolutely. love the intensity of the colors that were there because I had the spotlights on and everything and I love the way that the um, the bottle see reflects on that white table so that complementary color thing going on and I just kind of put that navel in the front just because it looked right compositionally but you're saying that that is the thing that kind of catches your eye is that what it is well there's um, there's a, an artist named Joe Brainerd he, he tells a story where you know these two guys are walking down the street and this one guy goes you know look at that 
and the other guy looks at some totally innocuous thing, and, and it's like, oh, there's a, that's, that's actually very special. Um, so it's just about pointing out something that's really ordinary, like a navel, in a way that catches your eye and makes you re look at something in a different light. Okay. Um, so I think for, for me, that's, that's the navel moment of the thing, or the egg moment. It's just this weird, um, kind of like wonderful, like, oh, of course, this navel is jutting into space and it's triangulating its composition. It's also narrative. Yeah, so I think that's, that's, that's why still life can be just just really sort of this multi-layered experience if it's done it's done well. That it, it becomes the idea of just how you look at something a little differently. It's how you're different. showing me, you know, how to look at something differently. Another thing I'm trying to do is compositionally make it more modern. So that's why I cut things off. You know, you is that a, you have any thoughts on that? Is that good or bad or is that uh, add to or yeah, take yeah. away or I mean you're cropping, you're sort of you're designating what, what we should look at as the viewer. You should look at a woman's, uh, her name is Louisa Matthias' daughter, and I'll spell it for you later, but she paints these really wonderful still lives, um, and they don't look composed at all.